You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. As you can probably hear, I'm getting a little bit more sick and sick as the hours progress. But this video, I want to warn you, take your grains of salt. Consider the fact that this could potentially be a huge spoiler for the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong trailer that we're hoping to see within the next two weeks. Now, this leak, uh, or if you want to call it a leak, we don't know yet. It, this could be completely, you know, um, fabricated. But this comes from 4chan, all right? And this was shared to me by James Sidoti from The Nation, so thank you for that. And uh, this is... It, it, it's been working its way through the system from 4chan to the Kaiju news outlet over to uh, James and now here we are talking about it on the video so without any further ado warning once again spoilers potentially ahead if you do not want to know potentially the description of what the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong trailer might be do not continue watching okay so here we go uh, the person starts off explaining they work for a trailer company that cuts trailers or approves them, whatever. But here's his description of what the trailer is. Warner Brothers and legendary logo so, surra um, surrounded by falling debris. The music from the parachute scene, the halo jump scene of Godzilla 2014 plays in the background. Starts off with soldiers running through a jungle, then more soldiers running through a smoky city. More images of Terra, a crowd evacuating as jets fly above, Millie Bobby Brown watching from a school bus full of kids, an aircraft carrier crash lands on a beach. All right, and just give me a second here to cut to the next part of this, as it was shared with me in two different screenshots. Uh, continuing, quotes from characters of previous movies are in the background while all of that is happening. Brian Cranston's They're Hiding Something speech from Godzilla 2014 and John Goodman saying Monsters Exist from Skull Island. These are quotes being um, played in the background. The natives of Skull Island appear including Fire Fist from Deadpool. That's the little boy, the little Australian boy from the movie. He is confirmed to be in Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, Fire Fist from Deadpool 2 being one of them. Welcoming a group of monarch soldiers led by Alexander Skarsgård, who is also confirmed to be in the movie. We then see a familiar looking shot, a large, a large bloody hand print on the side of a mountain. <coughs> Excuse me. It cuts to large reptilian footprints on a beach with various people in hazmat suits inside them. More... Of the cast, including Kyle Chandler aboard helicopters, Charles Dance's line from King of the Monsters, we open Pandora's box and there's no closing it now, orchestral voices rising, in other words, the same kind of music from, you know, the, uh, from, uh, well, let me continue reading before I finish here, um, the Hong Kong skyline at night covered with fire and smoke while we hear Ken Watanabe saying his arrogance of men line from 2014 before everything cuts to black and then you hear him say let them fight. Lightning strikes down to reveal a quick glimpse of Godzilla and Kong. The final shot is a standoff between them both silhouetted, Kong being three quarters the size of Godzilla. Q title with Falling Debris 2020. All right. So there you have it. That is the supposed description of the trailer. Could be take with a grain of salt. Uh, I think it's, you know, it, it, it look, it's possible. You know, we've seen this happen before. We've seen plenty of times where there have been leaks and they come to pass. we also seen plenty of times where there's leaks and they don't come to pass. Uh, the interesting th is that he does mention... The uh, young Australian boy, I forget his name, it escapes me now, but I do know he is confirmed to be in Godzilla vs. Kong. And, of course, he also mentions Alexander Skarsgård, who is also confirmed to be in the movie. Um, you know, is it a elaborate hoax, you know, where the, the person describing this went through the trouble of, you know, uh, learning who's in the movie to come up with this? I, you know, it's tough, because at the same time, it sounds like, it sounds like, if this were true, 
All right, if this is true, it sounds like they're going the 2014 route for promotion. We don't hear a whole hell of a lot of crazy things going on, according to this description. Sounds like a lot of calling back to some of the more famous quotes throughout the MonsterVerse with different actors from Brian Cranston to John Goodman to Charles Dance. Uh, we don't hear a whole lot of uh, crazy elements that would lean towards a fabricated story. You know, you don't hear any crazy, you know, you don't hear anything that sounds like it could be made up. You hear stuff that sounds fairly legit. But again, it could just be, it could just be fabricated. We won't know, I would say, until, I mean, today is the 24th, you know? So, I mean, at least a week, week and a half, possibly. Um, one of the things that this description also says i didn't read it because i just wanted to get to the description but he says that um and his, before he explains what he saw or he ex, you know describes what he saw in the trailer he says long story short i work with an undisclosed trailer company my department works on reviewing trailers and having them approved by the mpaa before sending them out to movie theaters usually we see a 70 percent finished edit of the trailer which this trailer was so we can start contacting movie theaters to let them know it's coming. Hence, why you hear reports and rumors from those superhero sites of the trailer of blank being attached to blank. He's just using that as an example. Uh, but it could take a couple of weeks for the finished product to be sent out. Based on the cut we saw, it should be finished and released to the public before the Joker comes out in theaters here's a short summary of what happens and then of course what i came out and read so uh take with a grain of salt guys you know uh, i think you know it's 50, like anything else it's 50 50. i think it, it sounds feasible i will say that it sounds feeble feasible it doesn't sound like something that was crazily fabricated uh but you know it could be somebody who's very creative they kind of know what would be believable for a trailer description but you know We'll see. And if it turns out to be true, you know, I don't feel spoiled because it's a trailer. You know, like if it was a movie thing, I probably would have been like, no, I'm not reading this. But we'll see. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think this is legit? Do you think it's not legit? Uh, and does do you care? <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I'm getting me some meds and I think I'm going to call it a night. But um, we'll see, man. We'll talk more about this this week, uh, especially this coming streams this week. And uh, we'll see what happens, man. This is Rob signing off for ETN. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're new here, definitely support the channel. Subscribe to ETN. And if you're already a subscriber, hit the notification bell. Like and share this video. It helps the channel grow, which is what we're trying to do here. All right. Have a good one, guys. Rob signing off. ETN. No news. You sell entertainment. Take it easy.